What's up, everybody? Got another Bible review for you guys today. Uh, this is the New King James Version Study Bible Full Color Edition. This is uh, from Thomas Nelson, and uh, it's in their new. They actually this is a very popular study Bible, but they republished uh, it in the um, the new Comfort Print typeset. So uh, we're going to look at that. Uh, but this this uh, dust jacket is going to really give you an idea of of how much color might be in this edition. So uh, they give you a really good uh, taste of what's to come when we open it up. I mean, it's beautiful. Really, really a step up. Uh, Thomas Nelson is really, uh, you know, uh, really putting a line in the sand with, uh, you know, you're not going to be able to get away with producing just black and white editions and uh, with, with no challenge, Thomas Nelson's um, bringing a lot to the table with these full color editions. So, all right. So you see the full color design, 15,000 verse by verse study notes. That's a lot. And uh, you have Bible times and culture notes for your context and uh, word studies, cross references, uh, maps and charts. All that's pretty similar to other uh, study Bibles. But I do want to comment with the concordance, the concordance is a fine concordance. I mean, this is a nice concordance. So if you are big into word studies and using a concordance, this is going to be one of your favorite Bibles. So anyway, and you can see there's a clear, readable, nine-point comfort print typeface. So there's the ISBN and the retail amount. It is printed in China, but it's on really nice paper, and the printing looks exceptional. Just like their Premier uh, editions, uh, they're they look they're printed in China. They look great. I mean, they look really really good. Um, you can see down here it's a sewn binding. See the signatures folded over. You have two ribbons, and it's just really nice. Now the cover without the uh, dust jacket is just plain red and it has a kind of an understated spine. So if you're not big into dust jackets, this is going to kind of, um, it's just going to be kind of understated. It's not going to really give you the wow factor that the uh, dust jacket does, that this is the full color edition. You have your presentation page and your two title pages. You can see already you have dual colors on the title page which is cool uh just to just to kind of throw that out there the, this is the third edition the full color edition and then you have your publication i think i just jumped straight across it publication information is printed in china that's not uncommon new king james study bible third edition full color edition and uh that's about it really um uh, You'll see these these dual colors, okay, in the text at least. You'll see the blues and black. I think that should be like mandatory on, on study Bibles because there's so much information. It's so easy to lose your place, and having things in different colors really helps keep your mind organized. So it's super helpful. For me, as a person that's easily distracted, having these different colors for your section headings, different colors to help draw your attention and uh, for you to come back to, it just helps me tremendously. You have a preface to the New King James. You have uh, a couple of articles at the beginning, how to understand what the Bible means by what it says, and... Then you have kind of your uh, your list of all the books and then a list of Bible times cultural notes, uh, your charts and diagrams indexed in the front, in-text maps, and uh, word studies. I like that they put these in the front because a lot of times when they put them in the back, you got to flip all the way back here. You're already, you're already kind of, you're familiar with the front, you know, so it's, I like that they put them in the front. You have your word studies, and then we get to the text. Now you're now look how pretty that is. That's beautiful. That is just beautiful. The uh, the book introductions 
are they're not huge like the ESV study Bible or anything like this one's four pages for Genesis uh, but you have a lot of a lot of sections where it's pictures and and charts and outlines and timelines but I think it's very functional very practical it's not a, it's not really honestly it's not really an entry level study Bible this is a this is like a disciples study Bible you know it's it's very scholarly and and really it there's a lot of information in here that's that's going to help the Christian no matter where he's at in his walk so uh, it's not specifically for someone entering it's not specifically for a scholar but it's it does really good at serving everyone uh, so it's not overly long introduction but it's very practical and matter of fact now one thing that's cool you can see right here you have three colors you have a actually four you have a bold black on the section heading you have the blue for the chapter number you have the red for these different markings uh, for the references, I mean, this is awesome. I mean, this is, that's so cool. That helps me. That helps draw my attention. That helps keep my attention. That's just very, very helpful. And you can see up here from where I'm at, the uh, the notes section, which is probably about a seven-point font, it can get choppy. But it it is super, super helpful having the verse numbers in bold, Having these little sections in red, they kind of pull you back to where you need to go. And and to me, that makes a ton of difference. It's almost as in just it gives me something to, to work toward when I'm reading so I don't lose my place. And when you get closer, you can you can see them a lot better, the, the reds and the bold uh, blues for the numbers. That is... Perhaps one of my favorite features, I know it's a, the little things for me, uh, but those little things help keep uh, my attention and uh, make it an enjoyable experience to uh, to study in a Bible like this. Here's one of the uh, uh, kind of the features uh, showing God as creator. You have uh, like word studies here. There's just tons of good stuff. I mean, tons of good stuff. And as we kind of flip through, uh, that comfort print, that nine-point uh, comfort print is just so nice. And I know that a lot of people are big into single column for their study Bible. I know the ESV study, unless it's large print, they're all single column. You have the same for the Reformation. You have the, A lot of these are, are going to be single column study Bibles. I like the double column. I think this is a great Bible, and and really, I prefer reading from a double column because it it gives me like for my mind, uh, I I get a sense of little completion every time I complete a line, and uh, I read with a ruler, and I can I can kind of shift it down, and then check my references, and and it helps me uh, keep my thoughts organized when I have a line that big instead of a line that big. So that's just my personal take on it. Anyway, much more of the same. You have uh, all these uh, scriptural notes. I mean, it's tons of scriptural notes. And uh, I wish I wish I had an hour to do this because there's so much you could talk about this Bible. I want to show you a few of these uh, pictures, these uh, kind of diagrams. This is just awesome stuff. Most of it's going to be found in the book introductions, like this is Ephesians a lot of the, the uh, beautiful pictures and stuff. But that's a lot of the stuff, when you're preparing to read Ephesians, that's when you need this kind of stuff. You need these pictures and stuff so you can put your mind there. That's why they're there. They're not there to entertain you. They're there to give you a perspective that, that prepares your mind for learning. That's why full color, that's why cover print font those things are there to draw you in to keep your attention and to and to prepare you prepare your mind for learning so that when you get to the text on the next page right here you're you're ready you already got a mindset of first century mindset what, what it looked like what it sounded like what it smelled like you know and and that, that's why it's so nice to have a bible that's like full color like this and attractive 
because it prepares you for learning. So anyway, I could just keep preaching and preaching and preaching. I probably should just zip on through. But you have, you just really need to get one to see all the goods inside. There's just so many excellent parts of this Bible. And uh, and it's just, it's just awesome. I'm so thankful the folks at Thomas Nelson put in the time and effort. Because the New King James Study Bible, full color, it was perfectly fine. I mean, really, it was perfectly fine. And they said, you know what? We can make it better. We can make it better with the cover print font. And we can make it better all the way around. So uh, they did. They absolutely did. This is just a beautiful, beautiful uh, book. So, all right. So we get to the subject index and uh, annotations and features. So this is helpful. So when you're looking at topics and stuff, that's going to help you uh, find a place to read. And then you get to your concordance. Now, this joker is, is bad to the bone. Okay, now this is one of my favorite concordances, and, uh, and it just has so much more in it than other editions. And, and I might be wrong. Unless you have a exhaustive concordance, that, then I, I, get you, I get it. But as far as an in-text concordance, I haven't seen one as, as extensive as this. It's really nice concordance. And you can see how big it is. It goes for a long way. I mean, a hundred something pages. It's just concordance. So for me, a guy like me, I like the concordance, uh, especially when preparing uh, and studying. It's super helpful to have a concordance. So let's uh, zip to the back and we'll look at the maps. All right, so here's regarding the type. We can look at this. It is the uh, New King James typeface, uh, Thomas Nelson and uh, Claus from and Heidi from uh, 2K Denmark. I get to, I'll get to talk with Claus uh, sometime. I'm going to email him and we're going to get scheduled out. But I, I can't look I can't wait to talk with him about working with all these different Bible companies. But anyway, uh, we keep reading. Uh, it's the uh, uh, it inherits. The tradition and uh, literary beauty of the King James Bible. I know me and Daniel Mars talked about it in our interview on the Everything Bible Show. He was saying that Claus and Heidi, th their team, actually drew from that King James font. They modernized that font, just like the Ki New King James uh, translation is a modernized version of the King James. Same, same root. So this text, this uh, or this typeset, it, or the typeface is has the same root as the King James. So I think it's just a beautiful parallel and a, a really nice way to look at it. And I think they did an excellent job with it. So, and here are our uh, Bible maps. They are on a slightly glossy cardstock, but not super thick. It's not the worst I've ever seen. I do prefer Bible paper. And especially this Bible paper is nice. Um, but, you know, maps are really good. The maps are good. I just wouldn't feel comfortable writing on something as glossy. Like I said, I have seen worse. I have seen glossier maps. Uh, but this one's not too, not too, not too shabby. And uh, we have, what, a couple more maps. And they're full, full of good information. Uh, the Nelson maps have always been really great and reliable. Uh, so, and I love the maps. I'm probably one of the 5% of people that actually like to look at them and use them uh, because like kind of how I described, uh, I like to imagine myself there. I like to put my mind in a place where I can see uh, contextually the area, the time. So anyway, and you can see this about the new King James version, uh, beautiful, trustworthy today. So it's good stuff. And then again, uh, the back is there so that's it guys i know it's about 15 minutes i appreciate your attention i promise you you will not be disappointed with this bible go get one today i'll leave a link in the description uh, for purchase and uh don't forget to subscribe and uh, because i do bible reviews all kind of stuff all the time uh, i'm always posting new uh, reviews or tutorials or all kind of stuff so uh, be sure to subscribe and click the the uh, little no notifications bell so you'll get notified when I upload new videos. So thanks for watching. God bless.